So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can sort a measure that is a number, but it's stored as text, okay, in a matrix. So let's get started. So I am updating my Google Analytics template for Google Analytics 4. Huge mess. We will talk about it. I'm almost ready, so I'll show you. Anyhow, Google Analytics has a measure that is, you have to calculate it yourself, but it's average engagement per active user. So how much time somebody spent on something, it depends on the context that you are. And uh, they display it as minutes and seconds, and I think that's quite a neat way to display it instead of just seconds. But if you do it like that, when you're sorting, it will sort incorrectly. You can see it, like a huge mess. So what we want to do is to be able to sort it correctly. And I have this little arrow that helps me sort it. Okay, so how did I create the arrow? Here's the thing. I have here the measure that is calculated in the seconds, the number of seconds. Then I format this into minutes and seconds. Let me know if you want a video on how to do that. And um, the thing with these, what I'm going to do is first change the name of the column with an arrow. And I went on Google search by thick arrow unicode you copy it and then you can just double click paste it click somewhere else and then you get the arrow lovely now we're going to have a problem if this is a very large number when i resize this you see that the rows change the the, uh, the size of the rows the width of the, or the height of the rows to make place for the number so what we want to do is to make the number always one digit. So instead of using these, I'm going to create my own. Let me show you. I have it here, sort engaged session. So what I did is calculate how high the value can be. What is the max value, which is this one. And then I divide all the numbers by the value. So I get only a one digit number. And then you go and you change the name again to the arrow, click somewhere, lovely. And then you go to the formatting, specific formatting, and then you go to the arrow. You want to change the text color to white and the number of decimals to zero. So this gets very, very little. It's already quite little, so I don't even need to change the zero decimals. And now it's awards. Not ideal. But until we can sort and measure by something else, this is the only way that I found. If you find another way, just let me know and I'm happy to check it out. So, hope this was useful and I'll see you again in the next one.